welcome to Industrial Live with your host Jeff Hine, where it's our goal to make you more money. Now today we are showing you how to figure out how much money your real estate is actually making you, and we're doing it by calculating the IRR. That's the internal rate of return. It's really a fancy term for the total annual return an investor gets for a particular investment. Now, in real estate, your IRR includes primarily cash flow and appreciation. Those are used every time. Some people use also mortgage principal that you pay down over the life of your loan, which I recommend because this is real money that you get to cash out when you sell your investment. So let's do a quick example. So for easy numbers, let's say you bought a $1 million property five years ago at a seven cap and you put down 50% on the mortgage. Now, big picture, what we want to do is add up all these numbers, find out our total return, and then we can average it out per year to find our IRR. So let's start with cash flow. And let's say that after your expenses, your mortgage payments, you're left with $35,000 a year in cash flow. And we can multiply that by the number of years to get our total cash flow over the term of that investment. So $35,000 a year times five years equals $175,000 total. Let's move on to appreciation. Now you can't really know what your appreciation is until you sell your asset and lock in those gains. But if you have a good idea of what your property is worth today, you can estimate it. So let's say after five years, you estimate your $1 million property to be worth now 1.2 million. So 1.2 million minus 1 million equals $200,000 worth of appreciation. And for mortgage principal, let's say that after five years, you've paid off $50,000 of that $500,000 loan. So here we originally owed 500,000. Now we're subtracting the amount we still owe, 450,000, and we get $50,000 that we've paid off. Jumping in here for a quick second to make a distinction and help you decide whether you should be counting mortgage principal pay down on your IRR or not. The distinction really lies on whether you're an owner user or whether you rent it out to someone else as an investment. If you're an owner user, you're the one who's paying that mortgage payment every month. So it's really more of a, like a forced savings account than anything else. That's still uh, your money that you're sort of moving from one place to another. Contrast that to an investor who has a tenant in the space who's paying rent every month. In that case, the tenant is the one essentially paying down that mortgage every month. And it's more likely that you would count your mortgage principal pay down towards your IRR in that case where the tenant's paying for it. Not as much if you're an owner user and you're paying for it yourself. And if we add all of this up, we get a combined total return of $425,000 over that five year period. But the idea is to figure out what we're getting annually. So now we're going to divide our total return by the number of years we've had our investment and we get our average return per year. We're gonna to try to fit this all on one whiteboard for you guys. So what I did here is 425,000 divided by five years equals an annual return on average of $85,000 per year. And now to find out what this represents as a percent, all we have to do is take our annual return and divide it by our original investment, which in this case was $500,000 because that's the total amount of money that we put down ourselves and that's going to get us our IRR. So in this case, we take our $85,000 average return and we divide it by our $500,000 initial investment and we get 0.17 or convert that to a percentage 17% IRR. 
So taking into account the three primary ways that real estate makes you money, cash flow, appreciation, mortgage principal pay down, we get a total return of 17% per year. Now, if you would like to calculate your IRR and you want help valuing your property so you can figure out your appreciation, just let me know. I will help you out and write up a broker opinion of value for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Industrial Live. I'm Jeff Hine. I'll see you next time.